You know I was very excited about the drop with the Mini 5 Pro. Well, that's nothing compared to this. So I recently found out that DJI is coming up with something that might solve a couple of problems. At least for me. What would happen if you mix the Pocket 3, the ever so popular, with a DJI action cam? Well, I think we all know the answer. It's already out there. It's called the Insta360. I think the latest iteration is the X5. And I have to be honest, I've been looking at this for a long time, the X4 and now the X5, and I've been intrigued. Seems like a very, very capable camera. The problem is, I've always felt like something's been slightly off. You throw the camera wherever you want, it's gonna film 360 and then you edit. The thing that's always been bothering me is the edit piece. With the camera filming 360 degrees, edit is gonna be a nightmare. But then, Insta came with the X5 and solved a bunch of those problems with AI editing and a lot of helpful stuff. Still, something kept me away from the Insta360. It never really caught my attention. But now, with DJI potentially releasing their Osmo 360, well, that's gonna be mega interesting. That's basically the best of two worlds. The Pocket 3 mixed with the Action 5. I mean, come on. So I thought this would be a good time for us to look at a video together and just see what the latest rumors are. Let's dive in and see what this is all about. So, we have been hearing rumors about DJI planning to enter the 360 action camera market. And it turns out that the DJI Osmo 360 is real indeed. We now have a closer look at the DJI's new camera, thanks to Igor Bogdanov. Not only from the outside, but also under the hood. A yeah, I mean, for DJI to make such a release, to finally come with a 360 cam makes perfect sense. I mean, how long is DJI gonna accept the fact that Insta is controlling the market when it comes to 360 cameras? And they've been doing this for a long time. So for DJI to finally step up and create something of their own, I mean, it was bound to happen, right? With dozens of pictures from every possible angle. So, is it a good time for DJI to enter the 360 market? Because we have previous... Bah, obviously, yes. Brands like GoPro failing terribly? Besides, with Insta360 dominating the market entirely, can DJI really pull off something extraordinary to be the market leader? Let's find out more about what DJI has to offer with its upcoming Osmo 360 and what features you should expect. As we I mean, it's not a small feat. They're basically trying to create something that Insta has been dominating for the last five years. DJI has no experience with 360 cameras. They have a bunch of camera experience and they do great cameras. I mean, they do good cameras. They do okay cameras. I think where DJI is the strongest is with the gimbal game. So from the drones where everything started, they basically took the gimbal and implemented that to the Pocket 3, which was a great thing. And then obviously later with their AK Pro camera. But I'm very interested to see what DJI can do when we remove the gimbal altogether and just focus on a 360 camera. Well, they've done a great job with the action cameras and they passed GoPro and remember, GoPro was market leaders for a very long time when it comes to action cameras, and DJI somehow caught up and surpassed. So now it's going to be very interesting to see if DJI can make the same move when it comes to 360 cameras. Igor Bogdanov was the first to share a detailed view of the DJI Osmo 360. And at first glance, it seems to be sitting right between GoPro Max and Insta 360 X series in terms of size comparison. You can see the two cameras and a display underneath on the front side of the camera. The power button is on the left side. I mean, the form factor look great. It looks like slightly smaller than the X5, but also in a more convenient square form factor. I've never been a fan of the candy bar kind of long things, saying that owning the Pocket 3, but it's always a little bit cumbersome to carry around. I'm much more a fan of the square sized uh, kind of action camera style form factor. And Hakashuki shared a quick start guide to show how can use this button for multiple purposes. The camera seems to be really compact yet robust enough. 
It's amazing how this Hakashuki guy can give us so much information about a thing that's only rumored. He already has blueprints, he's got the form factors, he's got everything down. And he's done the same thing many, many times when it comes to DJI releases. He's come up with these leaks that then proven to be very credible and very, very close to what we actually then got to see. So this is a trustworthy source. It is. With the Insta 360 X5. As per the information from Hakashuki, the Osmo 360 will have a bigger main camera sensor of 1 by 1.3 inch, similar to the Insta 360 X5. However, it will not have the 8K shooting capability. Rather, you will be able to shoot. This is the direction that DJI is going with all their cameras. They're increasing the sensor sizes with their drones. In every single release, the sensors are getting bigger and bigger, which is obviously great. 4K videos at max. This shouldn't compromise the details much, as you wouldn't even notice much difference in quality. Besides, DJI has been a prominent player when it comes to cameras, so you will definitely get- Yeah, this is bullshit. I mean, if the rumors are true, and if the Osmo 360 is only gonna shoot in 4K, that's a big problem. And the big problem isn't necessarily the resolution. 4K is good enough. I'm shooting in 4K now, it's good enough, right? Most TVs are 4K, it's definitely all we need. The problem is the cropping. When you have a camera filming 360 degrees and you only wanna see a particular part of that, then obviously you're gonna to have to crop. And if you have an 8K feed, you can crop a lot without losing and compromising quality. Now, if you're only having a 4K feed, you can't crop that much before you start to lose quality. So I think having 8K recording capabilities for a 360 camera is absolutely necessary. I think it's gonna be difficult to release a camera, and by camera, I mean a 360 camera with only 4K. I don't think it's gonna cut it. I don't. Better image quality from the Osmo 360 action camera. One of the pictures also shows a quarter inch screw mount for additional attachments, standard DJI quick release module, and four metallic pins for expansion module, which could probably- Yeah, this is huge. I mean, finally we have a action camera or a camera in the action segment with a quarter inch screw. You have all the accessories to your normal cameras and now you can use them straight with this one. I'm a big fan of that compared to the same trap I think that DJI walked straight into as GoPro, meaning proprietary fiddly connectors and you have to buy so many accessories. I think having a quarter inch screw, I mean, that's the way to go and that's gonna save me a lot of money. For attaching additional battery packs. So DJI is certainly focused on making the Osmo 360 and you can use the quick release from the Action series. Uh, so the Action 3, Action 4, Action 5, the quick release system will be working with the Osmo 360. So now you can take advantage of those accessories as well. Good. Well as possible, adding DJI's own magic selfie stick to all of these would turn the game towards its side. The leaked quick start guide also confirms that the display will support touchscreen and DJI meme well, DJI's magic selfie stick, the Insta360 has got a selfie stick as well, which is very easy to remove in post. So when they say DJI's magic selfie stick, well, it's nothing new. It's been around for a long time. And, and honestly, you can use whatever selfie stick you want and just remove it in post. It's super simple. As long as it's black and you're shooting against a white or white-ish kind of background, it's very easy to edit out. Dart Guide also confirms that the display will support touchscreen and DJI MIMO app compatibility. So you will be able to edit your captured footage right from the camera. A huge advantage over other 360. Yeah, well, touchscreen is a given. I hope in 2025. All their action cameras these days are touchscreen. The Pocket 3 is touchscreen. I mean, DJI is doing touchscreen and have been doing touchscreen for a very long time. So I wouldn't expect anything else with the Osmo 360. Cameras. As for the battery life, the DJI Osmo 360 is expected to come with a 1959 milliampere battery capacity, a bit less than the Insta X5. So that means it will also have less battery life, somewhat around 40, 50 minutes. So yeah, DJI is ready to well, that's a bit unfair, right? I mean, just because the battery is smaller and less in capacity doesn't necessarily mean that the recording time is gonna be less. 
It depends on so many other factors, the screen, uh, the, the processing, all of these things. So just because you have a smaller battery doesn't necessarily mean you can have a shorter recording time. I think it's a fair point to make, but I also disagree slightly. I think, you know, it's, it's kind of cutting corners a bit in the, in the thinking department. Pete against other 360 action camera brands. DJI has previously jumped into different markets and started dominating them. We have seen the action camera market, for instance. Do you think DJI will be leading the 360 cameras as well? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest. Well, I think they will. If they do a good enough job uh, when they're releasing the Osmo 360, and by good enough job, I mean throw in a big sensor, decent battery life, but the key thing, the editing needs to be so simple that anyone can do it. I don't want to be forced to edit on my phone through some stupid app. I don't want to be spending hours and hours trying to pinpoint the exact kind of area I want to focus on with the 360 view. I want things to be simple. AI is now mature enough to actually be helpful. So we kind of passed the, the, the growing pains, if you will. And I think now we're finally starting to see the true benefits of AI in consumer cameras. That's what I think. News. Yeah, I'll drop a link to this original video in the comments. So please uh, hit the like button on that one. It's a very good video. And these guys did their homework, whereas I didn't. So what do we think about all this? Well, I think the conclusion is that DJI will release the Osmo 360. I think that DJI will do a good job. I do think it's gonna sell like hotcakes. And I do think that releasing the Osmo 360 is gonna somewhat put the Pocket 3 out of play and potentially the action cameras as well. Now the action cameras are still great because they're small, super durable, you can mount them anywhere, and these things can take a beating. And I mean, I abused the hell out of this one, and it still looks brand new. The Pocket 3 is a little bit more delicate, obviously with the gimbal and the, the moving parts, you have to be a little bit more careful when you pocket it, and you have to be, you kind of always have to use the case to make sure it's protected. But still, it's more durable than I thought. I've had this guy for a year, and I was really babying it in the beginning. Now I'm more careless, and it's still holding up great. Battery life also superb. So I think this is probably a good time for DJI to release the Osmo 360, because the DJI Pocket 3 has been out for a while, and sales are starting to slow down. The hype is kind of dead. Everyone who wants a Pocket 3 now has a Pocket 3. The action cameras, well, it's like smartphones. They look the same for ages. They're not exciting at all. I think DJI needs something new and fresh. And most importantly, they need something to compete with Insta360 because these guys have been controlling the market for a long time. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, also hit the like button. 